Hello there people and welcome back to another video on the grind. While Rust offers many innovative features, electricity still remains one of the best options and players have been doing wonders with electricity since the game started. Some projects are easy to make while others require some practice, patience and technique. So here are 6 of the coolest things you can make with electricity in Rust. But before we begin make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon too so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Alrighty now let's begin. Rust is a game that progresses to all times of the day. You can watch the sun rise and set in the game. Players wouldn't have a problem during the day as the world is quite glittering. But night can be a problem for many players because as the night approaches in Rust, the world begins to get incredibly dark. One can see only nearby things. This darkness leaves the player's base prone to prowling enemies who are looking for the right moment. Therefore, installing automatic lights can help you in keeping your base and surroundings lit up. The method to set up these lights is very simple and you can set the timing of your lights to your needs. Turrets can provide great protection to a player from campers and raiders. As the game works on surviving through any means, every player's base is at the risk of attack from enemies. One can defend his base from time to time, but they might be overwhelmed by enemies anytime. So, turrets can help players in overcoming their enemies rushing on their base. It would be useless to place the turret in an open space. This would invite the players to destroy the gun first and raid your base afterwards. So, you should hide your turret in a secret space close to the front door. You can have a single turret on the front door, or you can make multiple turrets for the entire perimeter. While this luxury is very common in real life, using electricity the right way can also grant players an automatic closing door in the game. Having a look at the door and operating it constantly can become a tiring process. One has to get out of the vehicle and then face the door again to close it. Using electricity, however, one can create a simple automatic door for their base. Creating these doors in Rust is a bit of a long process. You'll have to consider lots of things before setting up an automatic door. If you want some more comfort and want to trap players, you can use sensors on either side as well. Alarms are a great tool to know if your base is being raided. You can make as many alarms as you want, but most players ignore them because their base is secure with other tools. However, if you have a large base, or if you have an excavator or an oil rig at your base, an alarm is an extremely essential thing for your base, as these machines tend to attract many players for raiding. These alarms are very simple and easy to make. You can choose if you want a light with the blaring alarm, and there are certain frequencies that you can set for your defense system. Raiding can be a tiring problem to deal with. Your resources can run out, and even a single player can become a nuisance. In such cases, having an online raid defense can be very helpful. Helpful. This system can help you deal with unwanted guests and keep all unauthorized people out of your base. Like the automatic doors, this technique also requires lots of calculations and a bit of field work, but there could be some other risks. An enemy could destroy the door and run in with his weapons. So to prevent this, you can use a HB, HF sensor and a turret. As soon as the enemy walks around the corner, the sensor will detect them and the turret will open fire. It is a great tool to help players keep their base secure. This is an interesting concept to look at. You can find lots of tutorials on the internet about this topic. Every player is looking for ways to generate unlimited amounts of electricity. While windmills are one simple solution for this problem, wind velocity and duration are key factors in determining how much electricity the windmills can generate. Therefore, they are not a consistent solution for unlimited electricity. However, some players have managed to create their circuits that can continue generating power on their own. These require some simple tools and lots of calculation. In fact, one shouldn't attempt to make the circuit as it is very confusing. You can watch a step-by-step -step guide to create it for your own base. You have to copy it. You can't create it. If successful, this power generating system can can help you make even more innovative things for your base. Many players have discovered other things to use with electricity in Rust. There are still many new inventions to come in the game for some intellectual players, but these are the best tools currently to help you in the game from defending from enemies to helping yourself in the dark. But for now guys, that does bring us to the end of our video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't liked the video yet, it's never too late, so go give it a thumbs up. We'll see you soon in another video, but until then, take care and goodbye. Love.